From the Carpathian Mountains in the west, along the northern shore of the Black Sea, to the foothills of the Caucasus stretches one of the largest countries of Europe, the Ukraine. For centuries this fertile land, often referred to as the breadbasket of Europe, has been the object of conquest and a thoroughfare for commerce between the Baltic and Black Sea regions, a bridge between Western Europe and Asia. In 988, at the behest of the great prince of the Kievian Rus, Saint Vladimir, Christianity in its Byzantine form took root in the Ukraine. In those days, the Christian Church still considered itself as one and undivided, despite its evolution into various Eastern and Western traditions. This awareness allowed the early Church of Kiev to maintain friendly relations with Rome and kept it out of active participation in the subsequent rift between Rome and Byzantium. In the 13th century, Kiev was sacked by the Mongols. Neighboring nations divided the Kievian state among themselves. During the period of Kiev's decline as a political center, it fell to Western Ukraine to uphold its historical continuity. Meanwhile, the ascendant state of Moscow had adopted expansive political goals, which included using the church as a means of becoming the exclusive heirs of the ancient Kievian state and subsequently even challenging Byzantium for the leadership of the Orthodox world. This threat, combined with the growing influence of the Protestant Reformation and the widespread moral decline in their own church, the Kievian bishops turned to old Rome for assistance at their synod of Brest-Litovsk in 1596. Their intention was to protect and retain the Eastern identity of their church, yet they also hoped that renewing communion with the Apostolic See of Rome would help counter the threat of the Protestant Reformation, assist in the reform of their church and bring its social equality with the Latin church. The renewed communion of the Kievian church with Rome was vehemently opposed by the Orthodox patriarchates of Constantinople and Moscow, so the history of what is now popularly known as the Ukrainian Greek Catholic Church became a struggle for the right to exist as an Eastern Church in communion with Rome. From the early 17th century to the outbreak of World War II, the Ukraine was invariably divided into two parts, a western part under the Polish state and an eastern part under the Russian Empire. The Russian Tsars had declared themselves defenders of orthodoxy and promoters of pan-Slavic unity, effectively a Russian melting pot for all non-Russian Slavs and Orthodox believers. Their main anger was directed against the Ukrainian Church in communion with Rome because it symbolized political and ecclesiastical independence from Moscow. Each time they gained control over a part of the Ukraine, they outlawed and persecuted this Ukrainian Church. In the 18th century, eight of 12 million Ukrainian faithful loyal to Rome were forced to embrace Russian Orthodoxy. Eastern Catholics practically ceased to exist on Ukrainian lands in the Russian Empire.
For over 300 years, this country was part of the Russian Empire. Later, with the Bolshevik uprising of 1917, it was not spared the bloody events that followed the creation of a totalitarian regime, one of whose principal policies was mass-forced atheism. Armed Ukrainian resistance to the Bolsheviks lasted until late 1921. Militarily outgunned, its fate was sealed. Unleashing a reign of terror, Moscow first installed a so-called Soviet Ukrainian puppet government and then set about the mass liquidation of Ukrainian intellectuals and the complete suppression of all national, religious and cultural freedoms. The wave of terror climaxed in 1933-34 when the communists decided to collectivize agriculture by force and rob the peasants of their means of livelihood. More than six million people suffered death by starvation in this Ukrainian holocaust. The Bolsheviks failed to create an aesthetic awareness, but they did succeed in destroying all moral principles and the people's feeling of self-esteem. As soon as the Red Army acquired total control of Western Ukraine in 1944, the Soviet government immediately resorted to old Tsarist policies and began persecuting the Greek Catholic Church, the name given to the Eastern Church in communion with Rome. All Ukrainian Greek Catholic bishops were summarily arrested, tried under false charges and deported to Siberia. After 